Okay, getting a lot of questions from students about how to get on OneNote. So let's just do this real quick, cradle to grave. Oh, by the way, this is Mr. Ferris, your summer school teacher uh, for uh, semester one and semester two, or for different students. Some of you have uh, both of them. Anyway, so you go to a browser like you see here, type in portal.office.com. And my computer is obviously going to have my password saved, most of it and everything. Ah, no, it doesn't. There, so you sign in with your nine digit student account for your Microsoft 365 uh, email address for school. I'll sign in with my regular uh, email address. I think it does have my password saved. There it is, my password is saved. Now my computer is weird. It says, hey, this is a problem. This should not happen to you. But after you log into this, it'll take you to a screen that looks something like this. Okay, and this is what you want to see. And I keep telling students, uh, this is where everything is going to be in OneNote. OneNote is right here. So let's click on OneNote. And you guys should have, you guys and girls should have Math 1, Semester 1, or Semester 2 shared with you. If you don't uh, see it, it's the Shared With Me tab. It's a little gray right here. You click the Shared With Me, and the, the notebook should come up for you. But for us, I'm just going to open up one of these. And it's going to open up a window. Don't work in the window. Um, I need you to open it in the desktop app. You'll see the button I show you right here in a second. When it starts working. Do, 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 do. Uh, how's everybody doing today? Happy Monday. Why is it going so slow? All right. It's going to do one more little open thing here. Open in app. Now, when you click this button, it's going to ask to download OneNote onto your computer. You need to allow that to happen if you haven't already. So you open in the app. It's going to download and open this app. And you want to do everything from the app. Whoa. What is that doing there? That's from uh, tutoring from distance learning. That was good looking. That was a uh, um, special right triangles. Uh, and their uh, ratios. I'm sorry this is taking so long. It's making this video a lot longer than it needs to be. Okay, so here we have Math 1, Semester 1, Summer School. And let me open this. Why is this acting so weird? Aha, there it is. Click on that. And here's the content library. All the students in this class are in there. So you click on content library. Here's the introduction that has the letter and the form with the first little easy quiz. Here is the syllabus uh, that I need all parents to make sure they fill this out. It's, it's required a uh, part of your homework. And here's the pacing guide. This pacing guide right here shows the overall flow for the semester, what we're doing each day. And then each week, I'm going to give more detailed information. That's this button right here. And this is a large, you gotta read everything on here. Typed this up yesterday in detail. Um, but for today, because Savas or the old Pearson, it's called Savas right now, uh, isn't working. So I uh, just found some Khan Academy videos and loaded those up and put down worksheets right here from uh, Pearson Realize that should, uh, you can just work on those on scratch paper that one and this one as soon as it loads up and then click on this form over here to submit the answers. I've already had uh, five or 10 kids do that. So that's how you do uh, OneNote. And until Savas Realize is working, uh, that's how we're gonna be working on stuff. But you need to look on the pacing guide in each uh, day, calendar, or sorry, week of the semester right here for this type out for what you guys are going to be doing for that uh, day. Okay, hope that helps everybody.